Good day everyone, it's Max, and welcome to the Land of the Lost Tutorials. That's right. Uh, from time to time I get asked by my viewers of the Land of the Lost series and my uh, Iron Man series uh, how I do certain things, or where do I come up with ideas, or you know, how do you build that, and I thought I'd just put together a series of tutorials uh, just uh, for the regular viewership, as well as for anybody else who's looking for this kind of information. Uh, the tutorials I do will never be super intensive. For example, if I'm installing a mod, I probably won't go through all the features of the mod, though I probably will highlight the main features that I would use uh, in doing my Land of the Lost tutor, uh, series. Uh, at the same time, uh, if I, I talk about something in Redstone, for example, I'm probably not going to do it the most efficient way of doing Redstone, as I'm kind of an old-fashioned circuit builder, uh, but that's because I can explain it out in much greater detail uh, than uh, some of the newer methods of using redstone and uh, so with that uh, I want to give shout outs to the regular viewers and commenters of my LOTL show and the Iron Man vids I thank you very much uh, this is for you guys as well as anybody else who just happens to stumble across it uh, I also want to thank uh, Ethos DocM77, Pear Squirrel, Static, and Minecraft Addict. Uh, these guys are today's leading innovators and some of their viewers as well. And uh, I want to thank them for sharing everything they do with uh, all the Minecraft community because uh, without them, uh, some of the cool inventions that I've even gotten to try out uh, in my uh, series uh, just wouldn't be possible. Uh, also, uh, the world I'll be playing on is provided by Necromar. He is actually actually an old school alpha player uh, and he actually built a test world uh, to actually do redstone tutorials and you should look up his page on checking out some of the older style type circuitry uh, which uh, I will be using a lot of uh, at the same time I also want to throw a shout out here to Coprin and his double swing boosters uh, I know as of 1.6 and beyond boosters are broken but uh, he deserved a shout out because uh, we, I of course have used a lot of his double swing boosters in my uh, in my LOTL series and I just still think that was one of the greatest inventions ever um, finally be sure to check the video description for links other videos files mods and or form wiki links uh, of course uh, anything I'm uh, talking about in a video that I'm relating back out to it will always be in the video description so with that let's have a look to see what we're building today Okay, today's tutorial is on the pressure pad block doors using sticky pistons. And uh, before I even get started, I take zero credit on this design. This design uh, is totally by Random Mac 5. Uh, so at the end of this tutorial, and I'll even put a link here, uh, check the show vids because uh, down in the show vids will be a link to his video. Give it a click. Give him a view because this very easy design on a on the sliding doors uh, was a great find. It's where I got the information to build uh, the the sliding doors that I'm using in Land of the Lost, and he definitely deserves the creds there. Now, uh, of, of course, there are other tutorials out there, uh, such as Minecraft Addicts and uh, Roboticus and a couple others who have all been playing around with doors. So there's lots of nifty doors out there. So I'm just going with this one because this is the one I use in LOT. And uh, like I said, give random La random Mac five uh, some uh, some clicking because he definitely deserves it. All right, so this is the finished product of a piston sticky door, and uh, it is a 12 by 3 uh, door system, and that includes the blocks that are surrounding the entire door system, because uh, of course you want to hide the wiring and everything. Uh, so of course you'll take the run through here, and you can see that it all looks very nice, and you step again, and 
just beautiful stuff that is. Now here is that door with uh, out the outside wall and uh, so in this case it is a uh, 10 by 3 with two blocks so it, you could say it's 10 by 4 but I don't want to count these two blocks only because these are probably the two blocks you'll have on inside of your base and there is no other wiring underneath here uh, so really it's it's 10 by 3 with the exception of them two blocks in the back and this here is the raw format for this door uh, as you can see here uh, the nice part about this door is that it's modular you can actually only build one side of this door and it would work just fine without the other side so you would just have the one pressure pad you would only have the three sticky pistons and the wiring to make that work and when you stepped on the one pad these three would push back and you would have a, a single door opening instead of a double door opening so now we're actually going to uh, build this door and so here we are this is where we actually want the door and uh, we need a few items so starting with item 9 of course on the toolbar uh, you need a little bit of redstone you need uh, two torches uh, you'll need six uh, six uh, sticky pistons for this. You'll need uh, your favorite block for the door itself and in this case I'm going to use a glass for the door um, and of course you need some other block or building uh, material which of course uh, to build the, the little bit of staircase that we need uh, to, to hook it all together and then of course you'll need some finishing products such as a stone or whatever whatever your wall block is going to be so the first thing we do is this is where we want the door so we take our six sticky pistons and we if this is our two wide door we skip a block on either side of this door and we will now put down six pistons so there's one two and I gotta jump up for the third one there we go same on this side I'm gonna skip it one two and jump up for the third one and there is now the six pistons required now the next thing is is that on either side of this I want to build a little staircase like so and as you can see it's very modular right so I could always be I could have just built this one side and made it all one side sticky piston door and it would have worked fine so far and then once I've built my staircase I'm going to take that block out like so all right now on, uh, we'll start with this side first, so we're now going to build one channel, and you have to come out one, uh, and this is so as the wiring does not interfere with the sticky pistons as it's going by, so we're just going to build our one channel all the way across, and up to the other staircase. And now that we've done the one channel that goes up and around this, we're going to take the block out from each of our staircases. So we're going to take that block out there, and we're going to take that block out there. Now, with that, we can actually put in the redstone and torches for the doors themselves. So basically, here we have, we put a piece of redstone uh, in here with that, and we want to put redstone on top of these blocks and we'll go do the other side here so we want to put redstone on the top of the blocks and one piece of redstone underneath that and then underneath each of these we want to put one torch so we put a torch here and you'll notice that all three pistons are now extended on the right side and we'll come back over here and now all three pistons are extended on the left side so that looks pretty good now starting from your torch you now need to dig down one more again so now we're coming down two level except for where the torch is itself now both of these torches are actually going to act like inverted in the end so basically our pressure pads which are going to be sitting on top when you step on the pressure pad it's going to send an on signal which is going to short out this torch which shorts out the wiring and these will retract so now I need a little staircase to get out of here for a second and we run around the front here so far so good and now what we actually want to do now is we are actually going to take these blocks here out now I could temporarily remove these and put them back in but what I'll do is I'll just run up and around and we'll just take out the back ones here 
Alrighty. And just so as I can get that stone, I'll make a little staircase here for a second. Now, we are ready to put in the redstone for the pressure pad. So in this case, we switch our, go back to our pressure uh, redstone here, and we run the wiring underneath that block. Now, you don't need a piece here because we really only need the two pads to send a signal through to the other side, but I'll put a piece there anyway. And we'll run around back to the other side again. And sure enough, there's our redstone. So we'll run it out here. Now all we do is run the redstone down our trench. Like so. And that is it. All right, we are now ready to cover this all back up. So we can now take our, um, I'll just take my cobblestone here. And we can now cover this all in. And run around to the other side. There we go. And finally, we need a couple of pressure pads. So we need one on this side. And we need one set on this side. And now for our finished block for the door itself. And as I said, I'm going to use glass here, but you could use whatever you want. All right, so there is our finished door when I step on the pads. Look at that, it's beautiful. And we come through the door and it closes on the other side. And uh, now just to, uh, to point out something here a little bit, uh, the other way I could have done this side is instead of running the wiring underneath here, what I could have done is just did an exact duplicate of this side. So basically I could have dug out uh, the trench that I dug out here and then hooked into the under stair of each one of these, I could have just mirrored that whole principle on this side. So I could have dug out my trench here, came out to, dug out my trench all the way down here, into here, and then I could have uh, then basically run my wiring in. Now you may want to do that if you're not... Uh, if you're going to try and set up one side with like a button type switch and the only reason I say that is because uh, of course you're dealing with so much distance here alright so this uh, this is already a 10 unit block uh, that's long plus you've got to come in each side for 11 before you hit that torch so uh, in these pressure pad cases you know you're going five six either way if you were going to put in a button and you then wanted that button to travel underneath the door and around. I'm not quite sure if you would have the distance, the 15 block distance required to make a button work here on the uh, on this side to get underneath the door and go all the way around to can cancel these out and then of course open the door. Uh, so of course to make sure you have enough, uh, to make sure you had enough, uh, you could easily do that. And I'll just quickly show you that over here on this one. Uh, that is this one. So this one here, the trench actually run, I actually just duplicated that same trench all the way out here. Uh, so there it is. And instead of me just running the wiring underneath the door, I actually just ran, duplicated the trench on this side, put the two pads on top, and then it works just as fine as well. Now the other reason you may want to do that, of course, and we'll just get, uh, we'll just get rid of all that weather, because that's crazy. All right. Now the other reason, of course, is is that uh, if you want to bring your pressure pads out one, uh, once again, you can just make this trench a little longer and put the pads out here. Or, of course, uh, I could have put these pads here, and it would work just fine because you're running right over, right over this. As long as you're able to hook on the pads on both sides. So, with that, that is uh, that is sticky piston block doors and then of course you would just then cover this all up um, making it look real pretty inside and a jump and dum -dum, and then we fall down and then on this side of course we do the same thing and we would just repeat this around all four sides because of course you're if you're trying to hide all this And presto magico, look at that. You got yourself one completing slide door. 
and that's how it's all done so as I said uh, credits totally go to random Mac 5 for uh, for this is his design uh, he even had he even found the fix in 172 which you have to add that one extra piece of redstone uh, so you'll notice in his first video this piece of redstone right here isn't there uh, but he even shows the fix for that so uh, very important to note he gets the uh, cred because that's where I got my uh, my tutorial from and so that is how sticky piston doors are made and with that uh, hope you have a good time making sticky piston doors in all your locations and this is Max signing out